Assalamu alaikum all my dear sisters. What I wanted to share with you all today is about how I came to put the hijab on back when I was a new revert to Islam about 30 years ago, alhamdulillah, and I was still living at home with my non-Muslim parents. So what happened was I, I read some books about the hijab, first of all, and why we wear it. And what I used to do is that whenever I would go to any Islamic event or, you know, the masjid, I would practice wearing the hijab. So I went through a stage of what I like to call um, training wheels hijab, which that helped me to get used to, you know, the feel of wearing the hijab first up. Uh, so I, you know, I started wearing the hijab on weekends when I was away from home and I would, you know, take it off before I would come home so my parents wouldn't see me. Anyway, I'd started to pray five times a day, alhamdulillah, by then, and I was really excited to be a Muslim. So I used to go around you know, when I was out, I'd be, always be saying salam alaikum to everybody I would see in the street. You know, anyone who looked like a Muslim, I'd, I'd give them salam. So it got to the point where I felt like I just needed to, you know, come out and completely embrace my full identity as a Muslimah. Now, of course, you know, it was a huge step for me. You know, I was living still at home with my non-Muslim parents. I was working um, full time in an office with all non-Muslims and I was studying part time at uni back then. But I knew I just had to do it. So I ended up writing a letter to my parents and I, you know, I told them what I was going to wear it. And I also mentioned in the letter how, you know, covering their hair was even mentioned in the Bible. And um, I started off wearing it only on weekends and to uni because I was too scared to wear it to work. But then eventually I got to the point where I just couldn't stand, you know, living what I felt like was a double life. So I, I decided to just wake up one morning and go to work wearing my scarf. Now, in the beginning, I did start off uh, wearing my scarf, you know, showing a bit of my hair at the front. And then I was slowly bringing the, the you know, the scarf over to the, towards the front each day. Um, I was still showing my neck back then as well. But then what happened was once my workplace kind of got used to the idea of me wearing a scarf on my head, I ended up just um, covering my neck up as well. Now I'm going to admit that I didn't, you know, wear the hijab perfectly in the beginning. You know, sometimes I would wear um, pants, you know, sometimes I used to wear bright colors, but eventually I, I started to, you know, want to wear it in a way that made me both feel good about myself, but still covered me in a way that, you know, fulfilled the conditions of hijab, you know, loose, you know, not too bright, but it still looked elegant. Now, I know a lot of sisters are strong, mashallah, you know, and they're able to put on the hijab straight away, and that's great, mashallah. But, you know, sometimes due to your situation and circumstances, you might find it hard to do it all at once. So for you, it might be easier to work up to slowly doing it uh, like what I did, you know, taking small steps at a time. You know, so maybe you can try out my technique of what I call, you know, training wheel hijab. But, you know, the most important thing, sisters, is that even if you know you're not wearing the hijab perfectly now, but the most important thing is that you have the intention in your heart to want to wear it properly in the future, inshallah. And, you know, you keep on asking Allah Ta'ala to give you the strength to get there. So I, I ask Allah Subhanahu Ta'ala that this was helpful for some people out there. And I'll leave it there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.